Hey, hey guys, Paulo Barroso here with a quick tutorial on how to create a tracking link for FunnelX ROI. So this is the correct way, guys, and I've learned this from David himself. So you go to your ClickMagic and you create a new link. Change that to the defaulted um, URL for ClickMagic. Do not use your own domain, so use the defaulted ClickMagic URL. The link name obviously will be whatever the service provider is, the traffic provider. In my case, I like to use uh, solo ad providers. Let's just pretend that I'm going to use a guy called Igor K. Igor K, there you go. And then in here, the tag will be the same, Igor K. And I would say maybe I'll call it 22 for whatever the day is in the month. Now, for the primary link, you guys really want to go to your funnel X ROI back office and click on links and you want to pick one of these landing pages that you've got available to you. Uh, in my case, I like to use this quiz page vacation too. Make sure you pick the one that says link for click magic users. So pick that one there, copy it, and then you got to paste that link in there guys. Before you create link, go to show advanced settings because you got to put the price as well per click. In my case, I pay about a dollar per click with Igor, so I would put one dollar there and I would click on this box CPC, which means cost per click. And what that's got to do, create link by the way, click on that. And that's what's got to do, guys, is got to basically track uh, my cost per click, okay? It will give me ROI and all that. So it's very important that you guys know your uh, return on investment and how much you're paying per click and all that. Um, then you're going to find the link that I've just created, which is here somewhere. Let's go back. I'll go forward, actually. There you go. So that's the link there. Now, this is the time you guys really need to pay attention because this is not the link yet that you got to give to your service provider. Watch this. Let me just go to my WordPad and paste it in there. Now, whatever the last name of the tag is, in my case, it's Igor22. Can you see that? Forward slash Igor22. You need to highlight that and you need to copy that section and then you need to paste it again. So this is the correct way to track all your opt-ins, all your actions and all your sales, guys, all your engagements. It's by repeating the, the, the last name of whatever the tag you named it and then paste it again and now you're ready to send traffic. This is the, um, the correct URL then to give to people like whatever the service provider you're gonna use. If it's Igor Kfits, then this would be the correct link to give to Igor for him to send traffic to. And if you guys paste that on your URL, the, um, the page works just the same. So I hope this um, has been useful. Please um, create all your tracking links just the way that I told you and you will see uh, how, how well it works. It will record all your actions, it will record all your engagements and will record also all your sales and your cost per click and how, how much ROI you had on that particular campaign. I hope this helps. This is Paulo Barroso checking out and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching.